Hello, David here, and the project for today is replacing the fluorescent tubes with LED tubes. If you follow my channel, you know I just did a replacement on my fluorescent lights in my shop. I tried to use the plug-and-play tubes, and that didn't work out. I brought those in here in the den where I'm replacing the fluorescent tubes. That didn't work either, and the reason for that was they were not compatible with the ballast. I even though these lights in here are a different brand, they weren't compatible either, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to try it. What you do if the plug-and-play LEDs are not compatible with your ballast, you have to use one of these ballast bypass lamps, and that involves cutting the wires to the ballast and rewiring the outlets so the, the power goes directly to the outlets in the fixture. So when you see the term direct replacement, that is the same as saying plug-and-play. Uh, these are made by a company called Fate or Fight F E I T. Comes with complete instructions, and they are adjustable for color temperatures. You can use 3,000 K warm white, 4,000 K cool white, 5,000 K daylight, and 6,500 K daylight deluxe. And what I find for filming in the studio is the 5,000 K daylight seems to approximate sunlight the best. Got the light switched off. Let's get access to the tubes. Going to swing this case open and slide out the cover. So these go one way. You can see a dark strip along the LED tube. That goes towards the top and that allows the color adjustment knob to be down towards the user. Well, I'll be darned. They work with the direct to ballast connection. I don't have to rewire the ballast. That's good news. I don't know why it didn't work on the last video I made. Color adjustment. That's 6,500. 5,000. 4,000. And 3,000 K. Go back to the 5000, that's where I like it. Now I could do the other lamp. I got both fixtures working and I noticed something peculiar. I noticed the tube on the far side is not as bright as the one on the right side. First I thought it might be defective LED tubes, but I swapped them and it's still dim. And I think it's a function of having the wiring go through the ballast. So uh, I think I'm going to have to try to bypass the ballast and, and see if they're any better. hate to do this. It's a lot more work. Okay, I've got the power cut at the fuse box or the circuit breaker. I need to uh, get access to the ballast. I think these are just clamped in place there. Okay, the black and white are the power coming in. And the yellow goes to one side. And I only have to worry about two wires for that. The blue and red over here go to the other side. And the uh, all those we go together. So these wires going to one end of the outlets. It's going to go with one of the power leads. I hope you've been saving your wire nuts from past projects. I'm going to use a wire nut to put them together. We got to use tape to get those out of the way. I 
Well, this was wrong. I had the black and the white go into one end, so I got to take let's take the black out of there. Okay, so now I got the white going to one end. You want a good tight connection there. Turn another wire nut. Okay, that's better. I'm going to test that. Okay, let's try it. Oh, I like it. They both have the same light intensity now. The problem was the ballast. So you got to be aware of that when you do yours. And I like the instant on feature too. Okay, now I'm going to take out the old ballast. I got to cut the power first. Put it all back together. Power's off. The replacement tubes are out. There's one nut holding the ballast on. On these ballasts, if it says there's a, I don't know what they call it, PVC, PBS, if it's got that dangerous chemical in there, you got to take it to a hazardous dump site. Uh, this one, oh, it's PCBs. And this one, there's an actual label on there that says no PCBs. But since it has no PCBs, that could go in your, your metal recycle container for curbside pickup. All the wires are taped down and out of the way. I'm going to put this cover on. Okay, both fixtures have been rewired and the lamps are working at uh, full potential. Both have the same light intensity. These fixtures were a lot easier to work on than the ones in my shop. It was a pleasure to do these. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.